The story of America's Navy is in many ways the story of America. Triumphs and tragedies, heroes and villains, and it is a story that began a long time ago. In 1800, French privateers were preying on American shipping. So when the men of USS Constitution discovered the French Corvette Sandwich at Porto Plata in the Dominican Republic, they set a plan reminiscent of the Trojan Horse. Captain Silas Talbot ordered 90 sailors and Marines into a civilian merchant sloop they had just seized. With the armed detachment hidden below deck, the sloop made its way unchallenged into the harbor. Within minutes, the Americans were in control of the French Corvette, but in order to take their prize, they had to neutralize the fort guarding the harbor. So Captain Daniel Carmack led his Marines ashore. They entered the fort and spiked the cannon before the enemy had time to prepare a defense. By sundown, Sandwich was ready to sail, this time under American colors. During the Mexican War, sailors and Marines engaged in action on the west coast of America. Successful landings were made at San Francisco, Monterey, and San Diego. But Los Angeles was a different matter. 350 sailors and Marines stormed ashore and took the city on August 6, 1846. Marine Captain Archibald Gillespie and a garrison of 59 men were ordered to hold the city. When the Spanish realized how small the garrison was, they attacked, outnumbered 10 to 1, Gillespie and his men melted down lead pipes for grape shot and helped